This is Louise Nevelson. She's a very prominent uh, found object artist throughout the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Originally from Ukraine, she and her family moved when she was a young child to the East Coast, where her brother had a lumber company. That's where she uh, found herself always uh, around pieces of wood, and it uh, incorporated itself right into her sculpture. Um, most of her work is uh, no, mostly known for being monochromatic. It's either usually painted white or black. Some of the pieces are the size of a wall. Some are pretty small. But uh, they usually are uh, pretty unique in themselves. Very well-known artist. She was prominent throughout the United States and uh, internationally. Very colorful uh, uh, person. Very uh, outgoing uh, personality. You can see some of her work at the uh, University of Minnesota Art Building, also at the uh, Minneapolis Institute of Arts has pieces of her work, as well as the Walker Art Center. Here's some objects that other artists have made, just uh, from found objects that they've uh, found, uh, that they found interesting. Just put them together in creative ways. There's really no rules about how to do this. Just uh, put together stuff that you find interesting. Here's an image made just with buttons and things. I love this one with the rocks and the sand. This is a drawing I did do a really, during a really boring meeting. And I transformed it into this sculpture made up of uh, plexiglass I dug out of an industrial dumpster. These are objects uh, that other artists have put together. Jewelry is a big uh, outlet for found object uh, creations. As you can see, there's really no rules. Just put stuff together that you find interesting. This is Robert Rauschenberg, another famous American artist who's pretty well known for putting together these collages. Collages are a form of found art. You just uh, find images that you find interesting and put them together. Monty Python Flying Circus, uh, the television show, was really famous for their animated uh, collages. This is George Morrison, a very famous uh, Minnesota artist who passed away not that long ago, but... Uh, I got a chance to hear him speak at the uh, art school I went to. He's very well known for putting these together, putting together these uh, collages or wood uh, objects. Again, his work is all over the University of Minnesota, the College of Art and Design, the Institute of Arts, the Walker Art Center. He was mentor to a number of uh, students at the college I went to. The totem pole he made. Uh, interesting piece. Anyway, as you can see, there's really no rules. Just uh, find objects that you find interesting, interesting and put them together in a creative manner. And uh, let's see what you got, uh, what you've put together.